A potential fuel shortage, shortage, I beg your pardon, is anticipated due to the strike announced by the leadership of the Ghana National Petroleum Tanker Drivers Union. Petrol tanker drivers are protesting delays in the approval of a framework guiding driver and meat service conditions. George Quining has more. In 2017, the president directed the sector minister to address tanker drivers' issues, proposing to segregate drivers and mate margins allocated to transporters within the Unified Petroleum Price Fund after a meeting. With this, the direct remuneration of members who were primarily shortchanged by the employers, the transporters, will be implemented. But the status quo remains unchanged. When petroleum products were uh, petroleum product brought into this country by ship, it will be discharged into the tank. Okay, after discharging, do you think petroleum products have pipeline from the, tank, the depots all the way to the various stations? It is tanker drivers who carry it. Finally, when the petroleum products turn to money, then they eliminate tanker driver. What are we doing to ourselves? I want to see how serious the impact will be. Oh no, if they can, for, no. If they can use maybe a jerry cans or tipper trucks, okay, uh -huh. if they can use tipper truck or they can use uh, this, uh, uh, any, any vehicle, okay, any vehicle to leave the petroleum product, fine. National Chairman of the Union, George Naonu, expressed concern over the poor treatment of tanker drivers who risk their lives on duty. And then the last time you went on strike was to protest the bad roads. And this one you're going on strike again. So what that means is if it's going to take, let's say, 20 years for, for government or whoever to resolve or let the, the, the framework be approved, you're going to let your tools for 20 years then? Okay, yes. I can, I can stand on authority and say yes to that simply because enough is enough. As I said, from 2017, and the sitting government gave directives, okay, for his appointees to work on it because the government himself knows that we are essential drivers. From 2017 to today, how many years? So if authorities were able to sit on our salary for about seven to eight years, we would also sit down. If they were able to sit on our salary, trust me, if those salaries were paid, it, most of the drivers don't have it. I'm telling you, as I speak to you, drivers get salary, even pin note on tabletop. Table okay. On tabletop. This is the heavy industrial enclave, and here most of the fuel depots are situated here. And so these tankers are the ones that cut the fuel from the depots to the respective fuel outlet. And they are not working. They are all packed. And even the operators that you see right here are people that are from, you know, long journeys uh, from northern Ghana. But the rail operators didn't show up because of the protests. But looking at how critical fuel plays a role in our everyday life, the impact will be dire. Nadia, I bet to Tomu Marco Marco, any Ochinano, I bet to Tomu Santi from Thursday going, like I said, I have here a Kabum, a day, ever. The shortage will be recorded from Thursday. Today and other days won't be felt much. The issue about improving our conditions of service is long overdue. I didn't think as I pick it away, and when you inform you, now Monsoon Yang, Na ya some Ghana Sabe Pemon. The union also protesting the poor road conditions in a heavy industrial area is calling for immediate intervention to prevent a massive calamity in an enclave with multiple fuel depots. They would rather sit idle and not work, but endure the hardship that comes with the non-payment of salaries. The objective is to have their conditions of service improved by approving their drivers and mates conditions of service framework which has been delayed for years. Well, we'll see how that pans out in ensuing days. Josh Quinn, TV3 News, Tema Heavy Industrial Area, Tema.